Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today I'm working on setting up a gas storage tank and pump system just to make it a lot safer when I weld. As you guys know, I have a welding station over here, and what I've done to try and make it safer is first of all, I got a fire extinguisher, a good one, and uh, I have another one up here on the wall, but this one's just water. And uh, what I did is I tried to get rid of anything flammable from uh, kind of out of the welding area. And that allowed me to move my gas tanks over to this side of the garage. As you can see, I have a bunch of gas tanks. And what I wanted to do is just kind of condense everything. So uh, I decided to get a pump system. And I did a fair amount of research, and I ended up getting the Philrite 112 pump hose. And uh, I wanted to put it on a tank, and I didn't want to use a 55-gallon drum just because that was going to take up too much space. And space is kind of a premium here. So um, what I did is I welded up my own tank. So I added some wheels to it, and this you might recognize. It's a 100-gallon propane tank, which is going to hold roughly, trying to get out of light for you. I have uh, fuel in it. Holds about 30 gallons of gasoline, but 100 pounds of propane. And I just got that tank for 20 bucks, and then I welded a bracket on it and some wheels so you tilt it back and you can roll it I put a handle up here it had a different top so I took the stem out of uh, the propane tank and I set it up so that it would hold a two inch opening might be a two and a half no I think it's a two inch opening which came off the top of a 55 gallon drum so I actually cut that out of there welded that on here. I had to make some slits to get it to fit right and um, I also added a uh, valve stem so I'll probably keep the lid off of that. That's my vent so that worked out pretty well. I also set it up with a custom Briggs and Stratton I believe this is the center of a steering wheel from Briggs and Stratton tractor. So that fits on there. And that's the port where you fill it at the gas station or if I have uh, you know, a five gallon container, I'll just dump it in there. And up here is where we're gonna hook on our fill right pump. So we'll get this all set up and going. So with the kit, you get the pump, the wooden handle, Teflon tape, a good hose that's not going to wear out for a while, and uh, a spout. And it also has this like telescopic thing, so depending on the size of your tank, you can adjust this. And this actually is going to reach to the bottom of my tank and have an extra couple inches to spare. So I'll have to shrink it down a little bit. So we'll extend this out, I guess, all the way. I've already put on the Teflon tape. And we'll line this up. At least I welded in the right size bone. And I want the handle to stop on the front side. I think I'll do one more turn here. I think that'll be fine. The hose can actually go on this side or here, and you can also get a filter. And I did buy the filter, it just hasn't arrived yet. I think the filter actually separates water from fuel so it'll trap any water and it'll also take out any particulate 
And another nice thing about this pump is you can actually pump in reverse. So if I have like a big zero turn tractor, if the gas looks good, I can actually suck it out of there. It'll run through the filter and then go back into my tank. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to wheel it over to its new home away from the welder. This would be nice for filling up the cars too once in a while when my wife runs out of gas. Here's the setup guys. You can see I backed my tractor in here. And I like fueling on the concrete. That way I don't wreck the asphalt in my driveway. And this is the new home for the gas pump. I would say it looks pretty good there. And if I had to do anything over, I'd probably put the wheels on the front side. That just would make it easier to get in and out, especially when the tank's filled. Uh, if you fill it up, it's going to be 3 times 8, 240 pounds, so it gets to be pretty heavy. Um, anyhow, I reduced my gas cans to a two-cycle can and a regular can. I can fill up the regular can and use it to fill lawn mowers. I like the two and a half gallon can. It's just easier to pour than the five gallons. So I'm going to go ahead and fuel up my machine. This tank here, it's a good thing I, I checked. I don't know if you could see, but it is completely empty. And I believe that holds five or six gallons. It has a little clip here that holds the gas hose. Going to sneak that in right there and start fueling. You can hear it going in. Oh, well, looks good. We're right up there. There's still fuel in the hose. I guess I could pump backwards if I needed to. Now this one I can see. This pump's pretty quick. Though my dad pumps gas and then he holds the hose to get like every drop. Looks like it also has a thing for a lock. I won't need that. Well, guys, I had the gas pump here for about three or four days I believe and I've used it about three or four times. I've filled up my car once and I filled up some mowers and uh, oh a generator. So uh, it works quite well. I didn't realize when I bought it that you kind of need to be right uh, wherever this handle is when you're filling up a tank you got to be right on it so that you know that you don't overfill it. So that's one thing I didn't account for, but what's nice is it does have wheels so I can move it out if I need to. One other thing I'd probably do is add a third wheel if I were to redo this. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but this handle, this is part of the original handle from the propane tank. It was up here, kind of went around uh, all the way, and I cut it off. And I've kind of tilted this on the back to use as a handle along with the dolly wheels. And this thing here is a, a pipe nipple. It's two inch, I believe. So I welded that in. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that's, that's where I fill it. And on the back we have a valve stem that I'm using to vent. And I've put a little clip here, and that's just that so my kids don't come out here and crank this thing and pump gas. So, uh, yeah, seems to be pretty good. You can also pump in reverse, and I am going to be adding a fuel filter, which hasn't arrived yet. 
So anyhow, guys, I'm Double Wide Six. If you like the video, let me know down in the comments. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.